around things because he's a little far away. Oh, let me try things. I do voices. I do voices. Pretty straightforward coming from where we're coming from, so nothing, nothing will change too much in the lower part. And that's also something that we try to do a lot in cartoon animation, trying to be very smart about um, what parts of the body are moving and what parts of the body are staying where they were before. That's what also we call isolated animation. Um, So the way I see this guy is like being very serious. I do voices, Ben. I do voices. I do. I'm going to do something amazing. Voices. <laughs> I can't believe Trump came into my mind. Those things can happen sometimes, you know. It's good to have sense of humor doing this, these things. This is nice. I could take it to voices. I do voices. I do voice. I don't want to do that. Um, can I like voice? What about like this? Let me try that very fast. Kind of like Italian. There's Italian with us. Any Italians? Hi, Isaac. Welcome. No Italians? Because no, right now, would, if there would be an Italian, it would be very angry at me because they don't like to be imitated. Oh, what about I do voices? Let me see if that works. Do voices? Well, I do voices. Yeah. I do voices. This? Well, I do voices. Yeah. Voices? Well, I do voices. Voices. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if I like it. Yeah. That voices it's a little far away. That's why I was looking for this can be nice. I do voices. I do voices. I know this is very Spanish more, maybe. I, I, I do this a lot, please. I do voices. I think I'm gonna go somewhere in here. This feels nice. I do voices. Yeah. Well, I do voices. Yes. With the yes. Do voices. That's good enough. Uh, sometimes I just like to go for the main golden poses. Um, and um, overall, when we're doing cartoon animation, you don't want to really start with a big amount of poses so it's good to have in mind always simplicity and trying to capture uh, that simplicity with just the amount of poses that you need right so this is good enough to get started this shot this part this is telling me enough of where we want to do the thing the, the shot Wait. Voices. 
Yes, please. Well, first thing that came to my mind, I'm not sure if I'm super happy with that, but let's see how it looks. Crazy just um, showing up very fast. Kind of like, look at me, baby. Look at me, baby. Like he's... He feels himself as a start or something like that. Yes! Like kind of like a very, very fast, kind of like a whip effect. The other thing I see that can be fun to do is coming from under, actually. My bad, we're not gonna have enough space. Yeah, maybe I just have to take it further. Something in this line, whoop. Very, very close, like showing up. Yes, yes! <laughs> and I like the contrast of, again, we start to do a little bit of the contrast of being a little bit far and then boom, yes! Kind of like both a lot. Okay, you guys tell me what you feel more. Option number one, option number two. I like them both. <laughs> I'd like two, 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 two. Okay, pull one. Okay, okay. I like the two, two more. But yeah, okay. I, I like the one too, but yeah, you guys like two. I just slightly like more two, I think. We've come to this planet looking. I do voice. Yeah! Okay, yes, and again, that's enough for this shot, okay? And for the kind of style that we are doing, that's enough. Um, so we've got a yes. And the last part that I want to plan is going to be this part here. We've come to this planet looking for intelligent life. Oops, Oops we made a mistake. mistake. Okay, so again, things come to my mind. It's fun because it, it feels the way I'm seeing it, that even though he's talking about we came to this planet looking for intelligent life. Oops, we made a mistake. Pun. They made a pun or they made a joke. Um, he feels a little stupid. So I like the idea of having again trying to look. So if we're going here, it would be nice to find something with contrast. Maybe like a middle shot somewhere around here. Let's see. <laughs> Well, of course, the staging it can always change a little later. We can we can work with this with the staging later, but uh, can do this plan looking for intelligent life. Oops. Uh, 
I want it to be like a little silly. Oh no, let me see. No. Uh, I've, been, I've been a big fan of doing, looking for silliness in open, wide open, wide open um, faces, wide open eyes, wide open mouths. I think it's trying to do a very open face with a big expression and find some silliness in that. That's why I'm, I'm, this shot looks very fun to do. Can I do that? What if we go a little bit into more like in kind of like with a little less of law of soul, we can do it planet looking very intelligent and like kind of like a robot like it feels like a little bit of like a robot, no? So actually maybe we can do something more squared. <laughs> this seems fun, no? And kind of like with a hand. There's many things we're doing in life. Oops. That can be fun. Happy to be in a what? And then just simply maybe maybe like a we can't do this plan I'm looking for intelligent life. Oops, we made a mistake. Just a simple change. Again. Remember in cartoon animation, we try to do only the changes that are super necessary, okay? Um, because most of the time, you don't have the time. Most of the, yeah, you just need to be fast and come up with new ideas. Remember that back in the 2D times, they were drawing. So that means every drawing is time, is money. And kind of like in 3D animation as well, but not, not so, so much time because we have the puppet already done, but um, it has to look in a certain way. So it's also time confusion. Okay, so I think that we got it. I think that is, we're good more or less to get it started. Uh, that feels nice, yeah, that was a good choice. Thank you guys. And um, I do voices. Okay, yeah, feels good, feels fun. I feel having fun. That's that's the main. Let's say people sometimes ask me, how do I take a decision? How when I have two different, when I have many different options, ideas, what do I do? What how do I know what what is best? Um, well, feel your body and feel your, let's say, your motivation or your, let's say, creative, your creative impulse, the creative impulse, that kind of a sensation that tells you that is going to be fun. Do that or, you know, that kind of excitement about around going towards doing something. That's, that's the compass. That's the, let's say, the tool that I recommend always in order to follow and to know that you are in the right path and to know how to take creative decisions do not put your mind too much do not put too much your mind in that um, some people uh, some people like to think uh, producers for example <laughs> they like to think that they know what big audiences big audiences like though uh, it's very difficult to do that to be honest um, so the best way to to know how to do something that looks good and to feel good is, is to feel good about it and to feel to feel fun about it. 